Tick-borne illnesses are growing, which is why, of course, it's so important to use tick repellent and check your skin after you wear outside. CBS News doctor Celine Gounder went on the hunt with a group helping researchers better understand the risks of diseases from ticks. Here in the Chaparral Wildlife Management Area in South Texas, there's a hidden danger, ticks. Okay. Ticks embed themselves in your skin. These hunters are part of a unique collaboration with Baylor University and the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Every deer has got ticks on it. Checking the animals they catch for ticks and then sending them to be tested for infections. We worked with the hunter population because we thought they could be at high risk. Um, and in doing that, we realized they were exposed to all kinds of bugs. <laughs> Sarah Gunter is the program's director. We want to know what the risk is in an area because if we're going to diagnose people based off of symptoms, you have to know that there's a risk for that disease in the area. It's a risk Tony Galbo has been campaigning to create greater awareness of. She was awesome. Everybody flocked to her. His five-year-old daughter Gabby died after developing the tick-borne disease Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever 12 years ago. He says her illness wasn't diagnosed in time. It's continued to be ignored. Mandatory reporting, mandatory mapping, and public awareness. That's all I'm asking for. If we can start doing that, there's going to be less and less cases missed. This map shows the increase over the past 20 years in reported cases of Lyme disease, the most common but not the only tick-borne infection in the U.S. We're finding ticks move into new areas. And why is that? Things like changes in the seasons, so summer's getting hotter, summer's getting longer, um, allow ticks to move into areas that maybe it was historically too cold for them to be. People moving into areas where they historically haven't had people can put um, individuals in closer contact to animals and wildlife and result in what we call spillover of disease. Back in Chaparral, Jesus Garcia takes precautions before heading out. You want to spray yourself down. You want to wear the proper clothing. After coming back inside, run your clothing through the dryer to kill any ticks and check your body carefully for ticks as well. It's so important to treat immediately for a good clinical outcome. Dr. Celine Gounder, CBS News, New York.